am Subramaniam Manikandan. I am a mechanical engineer. I have done B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from Pune University and M.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from IIT Bombay. Over the last five years, I have trained dozens of students in IIT entrance exams and helped them achieve their dream university. Now I do the same at TG Campus. Hi friends, let us study something about symmetry in functions. Physics is the study of the world around us. When we are studying physics, various phenomena and objects display symmetry. For example, a rainbow or the, the motion of objects uh, like satellites and planets in their orbits or the trajectory of a bullet or a missile all display symmetry. And since mathematics is the language of physics, it is important to study symmetry in mathematics. The most basic part of studying symmetry in mathematics is the study of symmetry in functions, especially even and odd functions. So let us see what we mean by even and odd functions. When we have a function y equals fx, then if the function fx has the property that f of minus x equals minus fx, then this function is said to be an odd function and when you replace every x in the function with minus x and after simplification you get back the same function fx then this function is said to be an even function. Now how do we identify by looking at the graph of some functions whether they are symmetrical or not that is whether they are even functions or odd functions. The graphs of even functions are symmetrical about the y-axis. That is, the y-axis acts as a mirror to these functions, the graphs of these functions. The graphs of odd functions are symmetrical about the origin. That is, there are some points which are in the first quadrant in these graphs which are reflected in the third quadrant. And similarly, for parts of the graph which are in the second quadrant are reflected in the fourth quadrant. Let us look at some examples of even and odd functions. So in this question, you have to identify by looking at these functions and replacing each x by minus x and then examining whether you get fx or minus fx and from that concluding whether they are even functions or odd functions. So the first function is fx is equal to x to the power 4 minus 2x square minus 20. Notice that this is a polynomial function. Moreover, the powers of x are all even. x to the power 4, that is the fourth power, x square, which is the second power, and 20, which is a constant function. So the constant function can also be considered to have an even power of x, that is x to the power 0. Look at the second function. The second function is also a polynomial function. However, this is a polynomial function with odd powers of x. The leading power of x is 3 and then it has a x and then it has a constant term which again can be considered as x to the power 0 and even power. However, the leading power is 3. The third function is a rational function with even no, with a single even power and another even power. So therefore, the first function looks like this. The graph is shown below. Since it is a polynomial function with an even power of x, both ends of the graph face upwards. Let us see what happens when we replace x by minus x in this. x to the power 4 minus 2x squared minus 20. So f of minus x would be minus x to the power 4 minus 2 times minus x square minus 20. But since it's an even power of x, minus x to the power 4 will be same as x to the power 4 minus 2x square minus 20. We notice that this is the same function fx that we started out with. So therefore, f of minus x 
we obtain fx. So f of minus x being equal to fx, we conclude that this function is an even function. And on examining the graph of this function, we notice that the y-axis acts like a mirror to this graph. That is, the graph is symmetrical about the y-axis. Therefore, this function is an even function. Let us look at the next example. fx is equal to x cube minus 3x plus 1. Going through the same drill, if we replace every x by minus x, we get minus x cube minus 3 times minus x plus 1. So this is equal to minus x cube plus 3x plus 1, which is equal to, if we take minus common, in order to get whether it is equal to plus, a, plus fx or minus fx, minus of x cube minus 3x minus 1, which is neither equal to fx and neither is it equal to minus fx. f of minus x is neither equal to fx nor is it equal to minus fx. So this brings us to a third type of function which is not symmetric about either the y-axis or the origin. Such a function is classified as neither even nor odd. When you examine the graph of this function, you notice that there is no axis or point of symmetry. You cannot consider the y-axis or the x-axis or any other line as an axis of symmetry. Neither can you consider any single point as some point of symmetry, like we have origin for odd functions. So therefore, this function is neither even nor odd. Let us consider the third function. hx is equal to 1 by x cubed minus x. So h minus x is equal to 1 by minus x cube minus minus x, which on simplification gives us minus of 1 by x cube minus x, which is equal to minus of hx. So here we notice that h of minus x is equal to minus hx. So therefore, in this case, the function hx is an odd function. Upon examining the graph of this function, we notice that there is some part of this function which is in the first quadrant and this, fun this part of the function is reflected in the third quadrant and there is some part of the function which lies in the second quadrant and this is reflected in the fourth quadrant and so therefore we say that this function is symmetrical about the origin. Now I will give you some fun exercise in order to identify whether a function is even or odd or neither. So you will be given some graphs and by looking at those graphs you can take a guess whether the functions are even or odd or neither even or odd. So in this graph you have three functions a, b and c represented by the black, pink and the turquoise graphs. So, which function would be even, odd or neither? Looking at the graph of the function a, we notice that it is symmetrical about the y-axis. It appears to be symmetrical about the y-axis and moreover, the ends of the graph go upwards. Most probably, this is a polynomial function with an even power of x. So, therefore, we conclude that the graph of the function a being like this, being symmetrical about the y-axis, therefore the function a is an even function. Let us look at the pink colored graph. The pink colored graph doesn't appear to be symmetrical about the y-axis. So our job is a little bit more complicated. Upon replacing the left side of the graph with the reflection about the x-axis, we get something like this. And then this graph keeps going upwards. So when we do this, that is when we reflect the left part of the graph with the reflection about the x-axis, 
then we get a graph that is symmetrical about the y-axis. So after doing this operation, when you get the graph symmetrical about the y-axis, then the graph is an even function or at least it appears to be an even function. Then this graph is an odd function, that is the function is an odd function. Let us look at another example. Again you have three functions a, b and c and you have to identify whether they are even functions or odd functions or neither even nor odd. The graph of function a is easy, it is symmetrical about the y axis and therefore it is an even function. The pink colored graph, the function b does not appear to be symmetrical about the y axis. However, if you reflect the left part of the graph, that is the part of the graph to the left of the y axis and if you reflect it about the x axis, then you get a graph that looks like this which appears to be symmetrical about the y axis. So upon doing this operation and finding that then the graph is symmetrical about the y axis, then the function b represents an odd function. That is for every point of the graph of b which is in the first quadrant, there is a reflection in the third quadrant. So therefore this represents an odd function. The same is the story with the turquoise graph. The turquoise graph doesn't appear to be symmetrical about the y-axis. So what do we do? So let us try and reflect it about the x-axis or at least one half of the graph about the x-axis. So let's see, okay. Let us replace the right side of the graph about the x-axis. So we get something like this. After reflection about the x-axis, the graph does appear to be symmetrical about the y-axis. So in this case, you say that the function c is an odd function. That is, every point in the third quadrant of this graph is reflected in the opposite quadrant, that is the fourth quadrant. And every point in the second quadrant is reflected in the fourth quadrant. So therefore, this is an odd function. In the next class, we will study how to connect periodic functions with even and odd functions. See you friends.